I believe that the liberation and salvation of the black nation must be brought about by black people gaining a thorough knowledge of self. Listen, I dream prayers, friendly do eyes, lines from Henry Dumas. Oh, well, uh, it's a project that we dreamt up like two years ago. So actually, this project has been like two years in the works. And um, I have to give credit to um, Alex Jennings, DJ Molotov, basically, because he brought about the principal idea in terms of creating the music. You know, and um, at least when I heard that, and it was like, so do I like it to a remix? I talked to my people, they were like, yeah, it's great music. You know, but what direction are we going since it was kind of hip hop? You know, and at the same time, I was talking to Black Thoughts, you know, like, oh, let me ask Brother Tariq if he would love the music. So I sent them to him and he immediately sent me back verses. We're just like, yeah, yeah verses. this is excellent. So that was the beginning of the idea and the concept of making it start. It was truly organic. There was no A and R, there was no, not a gimmick, you know, it was just truly three board three board musicians <laughs> making music during during the pandemic you know the songs are the songs were kind of written already on the black times record the main idea was was there the original ideas and like i said this is a remix of that you know so um as i said before um, we have to give credit to alex uh, dj molotov he put the music together you know all, all I had to do was play some solos and do some new verses. But it was easy for me to do the new verses because I just had to kind of springboard off what I'd done before on the record. And maybe uh, instead of saying it in three minutes or four minutes, I'll say it in two minutes. <laughs> you know, uh, so yeah, for me, it was that kind of um, uh, vibe. And also the gem of everything were the verses of Black Thought. I think he delivered some of the most incredible verses I've heard in a minute, you know, on this project. You know, and I can't even thank him enough. You know, I can't thank him enough for the amount of artistry and definite, you know, uh, complete dedication that he put into writing those verses. You know, I realized that he took it very serious because he did not just come off with some things or somewhere, you know. He wrote very specific things to those songs, and I was really happy as much as we enjoyed the kid. I, for one, I respect the future because the future is a mystery. I respect everything that's the mystery because I believe that that's the true humility of human beings. You know. Uh, or like the those filled with hubris, filled with their elitist pride, you know, that want to tell you where we are from and where we are going to, you know, that feel that they can predict everything, you know. These are people that are filled with hubris, you know, and they will definitely come crashing down. It is um impossible for us as human beings, for example, to know where we have come from. It's a mystery. And where we are going to after we die is also a mystery. And I think and I think it takes true humility to accept that and not dabble into this prediction business. You know, so the future is also part of these mysteries. And I respect it. That's why the future is exciting because it is truly unpredictable. So I cannot really sit here and tell you, oh, well, the future, I hope that we are able to do a record. I, uh, I don't want to give away too much, but this is not the end of this. You know, this EP is not the end of it. You know, but at the same time, uh, we wish for the best, you know, and uh, see what happens. You know, I would not predict the future, no. <laughs> the only future I'm, I'm always trying to predict is that Africa will be better. You know, I always throw my, my predictability in that, uh, in that uh, ring. Yeah, we did a lot of cities, a lot of countries. Oh wow, a lot. Uh, Mexico was awesome. London uh, had a great time in Cork. You know, um, LA, Desert Days. We really had a lot of great shows at this festival. I have to say, there were really some spectacular moments. You know, 
like when, when I got the cl- crowd in uh, Ireland clapping with me about the death of the Queen, that was a spectacular moment. <laughs> yeah, it was a great tour, you know, but it was a long tour as well. So I got really tired at the end of it. I couldn't wait for it to be over. You know, it was five months. We don't have a label right now. You know, I'm doing everything indie. I'm really, truly now an independent artist since Black Times. Um, but I have a great uh, partner. His name is Steve Hendo. Um, I can't thank him enough. Um, the president of my management company, um, Morgan Magolis. Can't thank him enough. My European manager, Kamini Eriko, uh, Leo. I can't thank them enough. Um, the team in England, Ade Yinka Tondu. Can't thank him enough for all the work he's done. Uh, yeah, so many other people. The band, you know, the band, he did 80. I mean, you know, it takes a lot for people to drop everything that they're doing with their life and follow you all over the world trying to achieve a collective mission with you. And I think for that, they cannot be thanked enough as well. You know, so yeah, thank you very much.